Lighting. Right, so in this tutorial we're going to learn how you can add lighting to your map. Now lighting is a very broad topic to do with Hammer, and a video that would cover absolutely everything would last about the same amount of time it took Valve to get the Portal 2 authoring tools out of beta. That was a joke. Now laugh! So there are three basic types of lights that you can implement in all versions of Hammer. The basic light entity, the light spot entity, and the light environment entity. The light environment entity is not typically used very much in Portal 2, but it still works, which is why I'm going to cover it in this tutorial. First off, let's create a basic light entity. To do this, create an entity using the entity tool. Let's change it to light. Hit apply. Let's move it to the very center of our room. If we double click on the entity, you can see there are quite a few properties we can change. Now the one we're going to focus on is the brightness property, which not only changes the brightness, but it also changes the color as well. And that is defined by these four numbers here. So for instance, if we change the color, you can see those properties change. I'm going to keep it to white for now, and I'm not gonna change the brightness. So we're gonna leave everything as is. So if we run our map, there we go. We now have lighting in our level. And already, it looks a lot better, even though it's uh, there's not really much to see here, to be honest. Also, I'm going to do something that's entirely optional. I'm just going to create a prop static, um, just so it looks like our light is being emitted from somewhere. So, oh, I've already been searching light. Um, so let's find a good light model. Okay, I found one that looks pretty good. Let's hit apply. Let's move this upwards. Let's rotate it. Now what I'm going to do is actually move these two to the bottom left of our room. And while they're selected, I'm going to duplicate them and then change the light entity to a light spot entity, just so we can see the difference. Now, the main difference between these two types of lights is that a basic light uh, casts light on all sides. So the ceiling, the floor and all the walls, etc. Whereas the light spot, let's actually move this upwards cast light around a specific area as determined by this sort of cone shape. Uh, also, with the light spot, it has a lot more properties. Now, the ones we're going to focus on in this tutorial is the inner bright angle and the outer fading angle. Now, typically, you'd want to increase these two values quite a bit because the light spot by default is quite dark. So I'm going to increase this one to 50 and increase this one to 60. And as you can see, the cone shape has enlarged. Is, an, is enlarged even a word? I don't know. Now there's a much larger surface area for light to be casted upon. I'm also going to change the brightness to 1000, as I said before. Um, light spots by default are quite dark. And just to create a bit of contrast, I'm going to change the color to, uh, yeah, you all knew I was going to pick cyan. And why don't we change the prop model as well? This one's quite nice. Now let's run the map. And there you go. You can now see the two different types of lights in our level. So finally, in order to create the final light entity we're going to, I'm actually going to create another room. Uh, and this is going to house the light environment entity. So I'm just gonna create a doorway here leading into the other room and I'll be back with you in a second. And then what I'm gonna do is actually split this ceiling brush into two pieces. And then I'm going to retexture this one with a special type of texture called a skybox texture. And it looks like this. So hit apply current texture. Now you won't actually see this in game. What you'll actually see is the specified skybox determined by your map. Now, if you want to view what our skybox will be, 
click on map, map properties, and you should see it under skybox texture name. Unfortunately, Portal 2 doesn't give you that many skybox textures to choose from, because most of Portal 2 is held underground anyway, so there wouldn't be much point. But there are a few, and the one I would recommend that looks the most like sky, really, is sky underscore fog. And of course, that's not the last thing we need to do. We also need to create the light environment entity. This will determine how bright the sky will be and where the shadows will be casted, etc. And this is all shown here. Now, I don't really know what these two properties actually do. Um, and I know it gives a description here, but this is literal gibberish. So usually I just kind of wing it. So let's put some random numbers in here. I usually go with 0, 3, 30, and then let's try minus 65. Now for the brightness, I'm actually going to change the colour to a sort of whitish yellowy colour. Remember, this is light coming from the sky we are accounting for. And for the ambient lighting, which is another word for the lighting that will be shown in the shadows, I'm actually going to choose a sort of very dark, um, like bluey grey colour. Uh, I'm going to change the brightness in this to 50 and change this to 550. Let's compile our map. So if we walk through here, and there we go, we actually have a proper outdoor area in our level. Now, if you want to change the position of where the shadows will be casted, uh, you can mess around with the pitch your roll properties. Or you could check out the Valve developer community. That has a bunch of um, uh, presets for um, lighting your skies and your level. And yeah, um, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.